Hello and welcome to Infinity. I was asked whether I could do a video on doing sort of difficult selections where the selection brush doesn't just pick it up easily and refining doesn't do anything much as well either. So this is where we're going. So if I go to this shoe here, I'm going to zoom into it. What we can see here is there's very low contrast along the edges here between the shoe and the carpet there. And in here, we've got a fade in here. Effectively, you've got a gradient you want to select rather than a hard edge to that colouring there. So let's start off. Step one, go to the selection brush tool here and make sure all the these are checked on, so snap to edges in particular, but also soft edges. Otherwise, you get a rather crunchy edge to things. And then we come down here. There's no uh, opacity or hardness set to set with this brush. And we'll just make this a bit bigger so we can make a fairly quick selection of this area. And you can see with this what immediately starts happening is that whilst it does kind of select a lot of it, but it also falls out the edge as well. So we can actually do something about this. We could go over here to the subtract button just to hold down the Alt key and it'll take out most of this. So we're going to go just around the outside and kind of take off the bits which are sticking out a bit. But then we can give another click. So we go backwards and forwards a little bit just to get the best that we can, can in terms of selection. So that's the first piece. Now the next piece is to take off the snap to edges and could zoom in and do some corrections with this. So we just go in, going round the edges, so that bit there we want to take out. So I'm going to reduce the size of the brush here, and the code on the Alt key, and paint that away. And But then with the Alt key not on, I'm painting in these areas up here. So going along here to get the best we can do. So, and I'm going to go all the way around on this, so I'm going to just skip forwards now so you can see where I get to in that, doing the same thing. OK, so there we go. We've done a, a fairly reasonable selection around the edge there, with, which is fairly soft. Uh, but now we're going to look at how do we address this gradient in here. In other words, to select it partially, because selection is not necessarily all of the pixels. It can be like part way through, a bit like opacity. So what we're going to do with that, we're going to use the quick mask. And this shows how you can use this. The quick mask is up here. And when you click down on here, you can do show mask as overlay, black, white, and transparent. Normally it starts off with overlay. We don't see that until we click this here. Now we can see here what has been selected. You can look into here to look to correct things and also to do other things. You can also see here, where it's a bit soft around the edges. So this is a good way to see where your selection is without changing that selection at all. So what I'm going to do is a couple of things here. So first of all, I'm going to take a paintbrush because on this you paint and you paint in black and white. So if I zoom into this little bit here, I can see there's a bit there I've missed and I want to paint white on that to bring this back in here. And my paintbrush here, I've got opacity 100% and hardness 0. And so I want to get rid of this here. So switch to black is X. So watch when I hit X, look the way this switches backwards and forwards. So to black to remove, oops, X to bring that back in. You can see how long it's going to take when you're going to do it. So it does take a little bit of time to make sure you get things right here. So now what we're going to do is going to go up to here and soften the edge of this. So for this, I'm going to get to a, a black brush here to soften the edge here. So I go around here, you can see here how, the, how soft the brush is. So I'm just going to go around the edge of this and just take the edge of that off there. But I'm going to go back the other way as well. So maybe I've gone a little bit too far there. So I'll make this a little bit smaller. And I switch again now to white. And I can put this back here to pick up a bit of the edge of this. So here we go with that. If the edge here is a bit much, you can do things with this as well. So I'm going to turn the toggle quick mask off there again. 
and I can go to things like select and feather so I can soften the entire edge of it. This you typically only change with a few pixels because it very quickly gets too much. And so with this, I am go to the letters here and just real rotate that up to, yeah, three or four pixels, something like that. And that will just soften the edge a little bit more and just apply that there. So now what I'm going to go to is to zoom out again to here and bring down, have a look at the pic, this. So I've got this selected all together. And what I'm going to do now is to turn this into a mask. And all you do is very simply is you go down to here where there's the mask layer and just click on the mask. And if I click on that, it puts in a mask and see the way it's masked everything else up by putting a mask in here. And you can see immediately now whether this has got this a bit right. And see here, hmm, this is a little bit too much here. So I'm going to do a little bit on the mask here. I don't need the selection anymore. So I'm going to hit Control D to get rid of the selection. I want to bring back some things down here. So again, I go to a paintbrush. Now I'm painting on the mask, not the quick mask. And the white to bring it back again. So I'm going to make this a little bit bigger here. So I just because it's going to be softer and just paint in bits like this. And I can go down to the edges here and start tidying things up even more. So I make this a little bit smaller. X to switch to white, uh, to, to black to take away things. I can go around the edge here and you can see the way this softens. And I could go all, all the way around. In practice, you actually don't often don't need to be that accurate with these things. You can see the way here is it's a fairly soft edge, which was helped by that feathering. So I'm going to go back out again. Now, you see the mask is down here. A good way to store masks, if you drag it all the way down to the bottom, it's still there, but it's hidden underneath the layer because it's at the top level. So what I'm going to go to here is go to the background here, put on a an adjustment. So I'm going to go to an adjustment, say, of, let's say, say, brightness and contrast. And here we have the brightness and contrast. And there's a mask on there, which is all white, but that's OK. But I'm going to put a mask on from here onto that. And now I'm masking it through this one here. So if I turn the brightness up, for example, I'm turning up the brightness of that area selected there. And I can even go into the shadow and going, hmm, that's a little bit too much shadow there. So I go to the mask there. I can even alt click the mask to see the mask. And I want to soften this off here. So I'm going to go to black. I'm going to turn down the opacity. So it's going to be down, let's say around about 20%. So you can see here, it's now softening off that when I paint on it. Maybe a little bit more. Let's put it up to about 40 odd percent. And I click back on here so I can see it. But now go to the mask that's selected and paint down here. You can see that purple there, that magenta, which is a little bit strong in that shadow. I can effectively paint that away by reducing the mask. But I'm still getting an effect here. So you can see the shadow is still being lightened, but not as much as this shoe itself. And you can see how this is now stands out a bit more bit different to that one there and done all by painting. That's it and thank you very much for watching.